Well, Napoleon, your time was officially up. I'm sorry, buddy. You chased one too many kid. Anyhow, y'all, this is Napoleon. Um, we're going to make some bone broth, some chicken and dumplings, maybe. Um, now, he is skinned instead of plucked. That's the fastest way. You don't have to pluck them, y'all. The fastest way is just to go ahead and skin them out. Anyway, I hope he tastes better than he acted. So, as you can see, Napoleon is no more. <sighs> Let me tell you the story behind it. So, back when I was like 18 or 19, I got a beautiful rooster. He was a New Hampshire Red. I got him, actually, I think it was an accident. I don't think he was supposed to be a rooster, but I had gotten a bunch of chicks at like a co-op, a local co-op, and he and another one ended up being a rooster. Um, and I named him Napoleon. He was the sweetest rooster I have ever had. Um, he would always run up to the car when I drive up to greet me. Um, if I was sitting outside, he would hop up on the chair rail just to visit and I'd share my, whatever I was eating, I'd share it with him. I mean, he was sweet. He'd let me pick him up, never attacked the best rooster ever. Well, <clears throat> for the last, that was of course a long time ago. Um, for the last um, four or five years, I think. So we, we had chickens in Montgomery when we lived there, but we didn't have a rooster because we were in the city limits and I didn't want to make anybody angry. So when we moved up here, um, we got chickens pretty much right away and uh, wanted a rooster again. And of course, I'm trying to recreate Napoleon, you know, my beloved rooster. So we tried two. That was a complete and utter failure. One was a black Australorp. The other one was a buff Orpington, both of which are pretty known to have docile roosters. No. Mm -mm. Um, so then we tried, uh, let's see, I think that was all. I think I kept three. I had a black Australorp, then his son. They were both evil. The buff Orpington turned evil. And then I bought last year... Or was it the year before? I can't keep up, y'all. Anyway, either last year or the... No, it was the year before. I got a New Hampshire Red, the exact same breed that Napoleon was. The original Napoleon. And I named him Napoleon Dynamite. Started off really nice. Um, and then he just started testing us. And I was like, please don't go there. We're not going to do this. Uh, well, we tried this. I did a lot of research. And I found this guy who swore by this. I'm going to have to move. My arm's about to fall off. Um, he said that if you will grab them and hold them down, like put your he hand on the back of their neck and just hold their head to the ground for 10 seconds, you will see a huge improvement and they'll stop attacking. He may have to repeat it. You know, he did say that. Well, I tried this and it worked. Like he would go like a month with no attacks. <clears throat> well, then he would start up again chasing the children, coming at me, you know, things like that. I would hold him down again. He'd be fine for a few weeks. This went on for like an entire year. And as it, time went on, it got to where within a couple of days he'd start attacking. I'd have to hold him down again and it was like, wasn't even working anymore. So my experience is that did help, but it is not foolproof and he ultimately, uh, was not was unfazed it did not phase him anymore hold that method of holding their head down so yesterday it was like this is the last straw my kids are terrorized mary won't even come outside if she knows the chickens are out she won't even come outside and um it was just becoming such an issue with the kids doing their chores in the morning i was like this is ridiculous that the kids can't even do their regular chores without drama so we made the decision and uh he, he crowed his last. We gave him plenty of warnings. I tried to tell him he wouldn't listen. So Napoleon is gone. Now we've got his son, which I never really named. Um, he's already been testing me, but he hasn't really come at me. So we're going to give him another try. I, I don't know if I'll ever have another Napoleon like the original Napoleon, but I'm going to keep trying, y'all. I ain't giving up because I love that rooster. And there's got to be another okay, one. Okay, Napoleon has been cooking all night long in the Instapot. Had some onions and some spices in there and... Mm. I didn't look shaped like a horse. Hey, uh, no, no one, grab me a fork over there, please. Okay, fine. 
Thank you, kind sir. All right. I'm not sure if I'm going to need the cooking longer or not because, y'all, a yard bird can sometimes be pretty tough. Actually, I mean, he's not falling off the bone, you know, but I think enough to pick him and make some chicken and dumplings with him later on tonight. Oh, and that broth is going to be so good. All right, let me give him a taste. Mm. Oh my goodness, that's good. Napoleon, you are good. Better, you are better dead than you are alive. <laughs> Poor Napoleon. Rooster is two years old, y'all, and just because they're an older chicken doesn't mean they'll be tough. Okay, he's been cooking on low in a slow cooker for God put him in yesterday afternoon. Look at that. I mean, I'm barely moving this fork, and it's just falling off the bone. So, what does that mean? Just cook it low and slow, people. And this tough old rooster here is just as tender as you can get and absolutely delicious, y'all. This um, chicken and dumplings I'm going to make tonight is going to be to die for. Mm. If I can pick it and not eat it, that is. And that's the hard part, is not eating it. <laughs> when you're picking it off the bone, it's so tempting because this meat... If you've never had yard bird, and I'm talking about out of your yard bird, you do not know the level of taste this has over store-bought chicken. There is no comparison. That's how good it is. All right, bon appetit.